Hey, and welcome back to another <clears throat> Starfield video. In this video, we're going to talk about and take a closer look at my Lakeside Outpost, my own like little personal resort. This is in the Serpentis system. This is Serpentis 3. Look at all the water down here. Now, what I suggest you guys do, I mean, apply this to any planet, a planet that actually has water or something like that. But any high mountains or, you know, the highest vantage points you can get. And yes, you may have to try a few of them and take your time before you find what you're looking for. But when you come up here, you can see all the different areas of water. See, like this, this uh, lake over here, I didn't even know this one was here until I came up on this mountain. And when you come up even higher, look at that, there's another lake over there. I think you got a small uh, little lake right down here. But yeah, this is how you're going to find lakes. I mean, it really, it'll save you a lot of time as compared to just going aimlessly all over the uh, ground hoping to run into water. But anyways, let's get down here and take a look at my pretty much fully decorated Lakeside Resort. Let's just come off of here quicker. right here is the uh, building establishment for uh, the workers. You know, they got to keep everything in check down here. I do have uh, automatic cannons on the top here because there is some very unfriendly wildlife on this uh, planet, fauna. I actually got attacked by uh, this dinosaur looking thing that was like level, gosh, I think 90 or something. It was waiting right outside the hatch here. I didn't see it. I came out and it like literally attacked the hatch once and I was I was dead in one hit. Anyways, come to our nice hatch. Now this plant, you definitely have to have a hatch for your uh your your habitation. But you know, I really wish they'd give us a different variety of like different styled hatches and maybe with different interior lighting as well. But you know, that's for another time. I'm sure once we actually get the modding tools sometime next year, you know, we'll have a selection to choose from, hopefully. Come in here, you can see how I use some of the uh, posters put on the side. Got our, you know, you guys remember this from that quest there on Mars. This would be the, uh, like, living room. And you know what really makes the outpost pop the most, as far as your decorating goes? is taking the items out of your inventory, just all these miscellaneous items. And then of course, you, you have to drop them, then you have to go into the uh, the actual build menu for your outpost to be able to pick them up and move them. Uh, it's a little bit tedious, but it is worth it. It really is. So here would be our kitchen and dining area. Overlooking the lake, you can sit here, relax, enjoy your Joe. Come over here table got some plates set i need to get some silverware on there which i think i have some of my inventory <clears throat> nice little cooking station fridge i'd like to have a different variety of refrigerators as well maybe some actual countertops with sinks in them you know like you find in the apartments i think that would really make things look cool nice little hanging plants plants really help make a difference here would be the bedroom Not too bad. I mean, you know, I'm happy with it. This is our makeshift toilet. This is what I don't like about these toilets. Maybe in some cases, if you're really lucky, you can get these actually uh, <clears throat> to go right against the wall. But honestly, these types of toilets, my first thought when I saw these toilets was, well, these are like your wall mount style toilets, which is what I really think they should be. And technically, it should be able to fit up against a wall. But I tell you, for the life of me, I can't get them to fit against a wall. And speaking of walls, I wish we actually had some interior walls rather than these partitions that we could uh, use. And speaking of interior walls, it'd be nice if we actually had a more diverse selection of habitation specifically for just making kind of an outpost resort. You know, a home away from home, if you will, right? But, you know, I mean, and, you know, I suppose once modding tools comes out, we'll have a lot of access to that. 
right now I'm trying to keep a very limited aspect of mods that I'm using because there's just too many problems that can come up, you know, and then trying to get everything figured out between the do this, make a plugins text, or you have your custom I and I, and then all this caution over the ESP files, the ESM files. It's honestly, I, I, everything I'm using, I just have in uh, my games in the documents folder, the plugins uh, thing, even though I, I did download it and it's all installed correctly. I cannot get it to work for the life of me, so I don't. I don't know what the deal is <clears throat> with that, but I'm not. I'm not that hard pressed that I really want to screw around with it that much. But anyways, let's go ahead and come to our inventory and like drop something. Here, let's just see if we can find something we can put down on here. Actually, let's go ahead and put Bob's grog down here. So basically what you have to do is you have to drop an item. Now, if you have several items like this, you're going to have to select how many you want to drop. And if you're going to use them for interior decorating, you're going to have to drop one at a time. If you drop 10 at a time, they're all going to stack. They're not going to be all separate 10 on the floor. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to come into here. You have to come into your outpost building. Okay, you need to come to tab. Okay, so you want to hover over the item and then click move, click E. <clears throat> you can see right there, I can put this right on the table, hit confirm, and there you go. That's all there is to it. But you can see what I mean by uh, tedious. You know, it's like literally you are having to uh, pick up each individual item, transport them where you want them. And yeah, it can be a, <laughs> a real pain. But yeah, other than that, this is just a little tour of my uh, lakeside resort outpost situation. So yeah, other than that, let me know in the comments below kind of what you guys uh, like about outpost uh, building experiences that you've done. Let's just talk about outpost as far as setting them up for like, you know, a living type of outpost not production outposts, you know, that we, we all know about the production aspect of the game and the problems that seem to be associated with those. But yeah, other than that, um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next Starfield video. Keep safe out there. Peace.